This is what Allah has prescribed for us. Allah commanded that they all must fast, and he said the following, O you who believe, fasting is prescribed for those who believe, who before you, and that you may ward off evil. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa set the example of fasting. Fasting allows the Muslim people to reflect on their lives and their beliefs. During Ramadan, Muslims spend most of their time doing what? Reading the Quran. And reading the Quran is something we have to do to work on ourselves. Why Muslims fast again? On this, the Prophet of Allah, say what Laki the Lady Wasala said, on this day, whosoever holds his hearing, his sight, and his tongue from committing sins will be forgiven by Allah. This is a hadith that has been reported by Allah. What are the goals of fasting? Fasting is the fourth pillar of Islam. I've seen some places where it's reported that it's the third pillar or the fourth pillar. So I, I'm, I'm, you know, I've seen it as the fourth pillar mm. most times, but I have seen it reported as the third pillar. Fasting, CM or Saum, fasting helps Muslims to do what? Draw closer to Allah, increase your knowledge, increase your power over yourself, feel compassion for others, reflect on your shortcomings, and also it strengthens the community relations because if all of us are fasting, we're all conscious of how we treat each other, how we interact with each other, even how we speak to our own children, how we speak to ourselves. Sometimes we have to go, oh, self, get back here, you know, come on back in, this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. So these are some of the goals of fasting that most people identify with. The major objectives of fasting Becoming a better Muslim. You emphasize, you empathize with the less fortunate of those who do not have as much as you may have. You do away with bad habits. You know, many Muslims smoke, and then really, the Quran doesn't tell you not to smoke, but that's something we know we should do. We appreciate the blessings that we receive during this time. In social relations, when we break iftar, we come together. We have a good time. Imam Nasser was mentioning how we used to. Um, Go from house to house. We remember that. Mm -hmm. Children and all, we'd be tugging. <laughs> come on. And most of the times the brothers would leave us to come and make some letters um, at the master while we did what? Clean up and got ourselves together. But it was a great time. The health benefits. You know, a lot of people say it fast because they want to do this to purify their bodies. So these are some of the objectives of fasting. Fasting breaks the chains. <coughs> You're going to empty your mind to feed your soul. I stole that from me, ma'am, Nasa. He's been emphasizing the soul the last couple of weeks during his Talim sessions. So we're going to empty our minds. How can we do that? We've got to break the chains of the things that we do, our routine that we do, because if we're fasting, we can't turn on the TV, or we shouldn't turn on the TV. We shouldn't turn on that radio. I like to hear Tom Jonah in the morning. I like to hear the Bible. I can't do that because I'm doing what? I'm fasting. Also, I have to do what? Be careful of what I see and what I say as well as what I hear. I have to guard my tongue. And that's really hard for Sister Alpha sometimes. But she knows that. But this is a reminder to me as well as to others to do what? Work on holding that tongue. The Messenger of Allah, Sayyidina Allah, who our lady was solemn, was asked about fasting on the day of Arabic. He said, it expiates the sins of the previous year those of the upcoming year. And that's been reported by Sahih Muslim. SBA. They're forgiven. I don't want to say wash away your sins because that's Christianity. Mm -hmm. but that's what came to mind when I saw that. So I had to figure that's out what, what this is. SBA means. It means Allah forgives us our sins for the last year and any that we do coming up, Allah will forgive us. Empty your mind to feed your soul. What are you going to do? Unity of mankind. Because Muslims throughout the world at that time are doing what? Fasting. That's our community. That's our mankind. We're all doing the same thing. We may not be doing it exactly the same moment because as the world turns, so there's what? Daylight, sunlight. But we're doing it. 
So at this time, we're a unified movement. The Hodge allows us to return to our innocence. The man of always talks about your name, your true self, your purity, your original spiritual, your mental and social, social nature. The Allah created in us when he created what? The first people. And this is from Imam W.D. Muhammad, August 25th, 2001. He's explaining the Hajj. Imam Muhammad first went to Hajj in 1967. And he also went back in 1977. And I can, I, I, you know, I have no idea what he experienced. For 10 years, you know, can you imagine seeing the growth of something from one time to the next time? And how you report on it? So it's important that we hold on to the words of Imam W.D. Muhammad because he is our eyes and ears to the growth of Al-Islam. We may not realize it, but he is. Spiritual rejuvenation. Empty your stomach to feed your soul. Now, now so what is the stomach the key to? You always tell us the stomach is the key to something. When the body fasts, the soul is one. Hungry. I'm not talking about physical food. And if, as you notice in this PowerPoint, I have put food anywhere. The body becomes lighter. Yes, yeah, some of us feel like we lightheaded. Ooh, what's going on? The soul is craving for relief. Quran 2, 183 again, that same verse that was there. We're going through a stage of detoxification. Not food, but breaking the chains. Getting rid of whatever was there that we know we should be not doing involved in or putting less focus on. Spiritual reju rejuvenation gives us the closest to Allah. We get to do what? Close our mouth and open our spiritual mouth. Take in the words of Allah. Read Allah's signs in the creation. Read Quran. Read Hadith. We're opening our spiritual mouth. Your spirit feeds upon pearls of wisdom that are found in Quran, that are found in what Allah dictates halal for us. So you empty your stomach and feed your soul. The great reward benefits while fasting. These are the things that we should experience. Gaining taqwa, drawing closer to Allah, striving for iksan, refining manners, Recognizing that one can change. Being more charitable, even to yourself. Sensing unity of Muslims and learning discipline. And the last one that I did not say, but I will now, is acquiring patience. Taqwa. Why are we fasting? The goal of fasting is to develop self-restraint. There's that verse again, O oh, you who believe, fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed to those before you, so that you may develop taqwa, self-restraint. An example, God says about Mary in the Quran that she said, Verily, I have vowed a fast to the most beneficent. That's Mary of 1925. 26. What is taqwa? It's an Arabic word. It is the state of your heart <laughs> that motivates virtuous conduct and prevents evil action. Love plus the fear of God, love of God plus the fear of God leads to self-restraint taqwa. Taqwa is what safeguards us, our soul. These words here are just components. Patience, contentment, punctuality, Brother McCall. <laughs> <laughs> Self-restraint. <laughs> State of detachment. I had a conversation with a friend of Aaliyah's recently, Veronica. And she and I was talking about some things in a social group that we're part of. And she said, Afro, stay away from the clicks. I said, I don't click with nobody. Mm -hmm. I really don't. I speak, I'm friendly, firm, you know that. Mm -hmm. I don't click. I, I, that's my state of attachment. I'm sorry. I recognize everyone. I see everyone. I don't ignore everyone, but I don't attach onto people. I do not. 
self state of detachment. Your eyes fast. Fast from what? TV. Some folks like to watch dirty movies. <laughs> Putting y'all out there. Your ears fast. Some of us like to hear and listen to dirty things, or we hear people saying things that we know are haram. We don't say anything, we don't walk away. You'll see, they listen to it, but we're supposed to fast during this time with our ears. And our bodies fast. Your skin fast. When you are fasting, everything about your whole being is fasting. And most of us just think it's our what? Our stomach, our mouths. That's all we think it is. But remember, we're developing self-restraint. Fasting. It gives the vital organs a time to rest. They don't have mm. to work as hard. <clears throat> like yesterday, Brother Benson, Brother McKenna. Brother McKenna, a lot yesterday, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And I said to him later, I said, I was surprised. <laughs> I really was. And he looked at me, you know what? I said, you know what? You ate a lot for you. And it was sugar, y'all. I'm a bustin'. <laughs>
So Cornette, when we go, we're going to have to work on that. So you're going to help me and I'm going to help you. <laughs>